Hey guys, Paul Horn here from Horn Strength and Conditioning in Los Angeles and also Starting Strength Online Coaching. I've got a new client online who's having some difficulty getting the bar into the low bar position because of poor shoulder flexibility. So I figured I'd come into the gym and make a little video to help him out and maybe it'll help some of you out there who are having a similar problem. So getting the bar into the low bar position can be one of the biggest challenges we face when teaching new lifters how to squat. It's a position that can be really uncomfortable, it can be very painful and very distracting when a lifter is trying to learn the movement. Uh, we find this particularly in men over the age of 50. Also software developers seem to have this problem. Anyone who spends a lot of time hunched over a computer can find this low bar position very uncomfortable and distracting, like I said, when they're trying to learn to squat. So I've had this gym since 2013. I've been a starting strength coach since 2011. I'm proud to say we don't have anybody in our gym that can't low bar squat after a couple months. Uh, it's not always easy, it's not always perfect. Sometimes we've got a little bit more wrist extension than we like, but after a few months of training, we get everybody in here low bar squatting. And the way that we do that is with one stretch in particular that I'm gonna show you right now. So I've got a bar set up here and I'm gonna instruct my trainee to take a grip that puts the thumbs on that 32 inch mark on the bar. So it's gonna be a fairly wide grip and I'm gonna instruct my client to go under the bar as far as they can, maintaining perfectly straight wrists. In other words, at no point during this exercise are we gonna allow the wrists to bend at all. We're gonna maintain perfectly straight wrists. So if it's early in the morning for me, or if it's one of my clients that's having this issue, when they go under the bar, we may only get to about right here. And that's okay. What we're looking for is the pain. We're looking for the discomfort or the limit of their flexibility. And we're gonna tell the client to push into that discomfort and hold it for just a couple seconds, three or four seconds, and then they're gonna relax a little bit. And then we're gonna have them move a little bit deeper, try and push into the pain just a little bit, hold it for three or four seconds, and then relax. And they're gonna keep going a little bit deeper every time, pushing into that discomfort, holding it for a few seconds, and then giving themselves a little break. And over time, we're gonna work this thing down their back until we get it into the low bar position. Now, it's the afternoon right now. I'm fairly warmed up, that was pretty easy for me. A couple months ago, when I was recovering from shoulder surgery, this is the stretch I used to get back my range of motion very quickly. It's a very effective stretch, it works very well. We make our clients do this every time they train. After they warm up and before they start squatting, they're gonna spend five minutes or so just working themselves under the bar, holding it and relaxing. And then from there, we'll just have them squat to the best of their ability. It may take a week, it may take a month, it may take three months, but over time, with commitment, they can always get this thing down their back into the low bar position. And that's the thing with this discomfort. If you're unwilling to push into it to embrace the pain a little bit, it'll never get better and you're always gonna to have to use some sort of compromised grip or high bar squat. So you have to embrace it, you have to be comfortable with a little bit of discomfort and over time you'll get the bar where it needs to be. Hope this helps, hit us with questions and we'll see you on the next one, thank you.